So okay. what are we doing today? <laughs> today we were going to talk about graphic design, basically just the basics of it. Like I'm just going to scratch the very surface of what graphic design is. What is graphic design? Well, I pulled up Wikipedia and they describe it pretty well. It's the process of visual communication and problem solving through the use of type, space, image, and color. This field is considered a subset of visual communication and communication design, but sometimes the term graphic design is used interchangeably with these due to overlapping skills involved. Basically what that means is graphic design is a very broad thing. It could be anything from like advertising to art to whatever. Hmm. So me dicking around on like uh, I don't know, um, paint versus someone who actually knows what the hell they're doing with Photoshop or any number of other graphic design stuff, it's, it's all graphic design? Yes, even you messing around with paint as a child, that is graphic design. Well, you mean, I mean child, yeah, of course, that's, that's, that's <laughs> definitely... Or as an adult. Shh! <laughs> or as an adult, yeah, whatever. Okay, so I guess we should get started. Sure is. Okay, so basically this right here is just the same as what I just said from Wikipedia. But we're going to cover visual communication, what that means. Um, basically what it means is what message you're trying to tell the audience. Take these off, I can't hear anything. Like the stop sign saying red, red is a dangerous thing. Right, right. But basically what, it, what I was trying to say was, um, is it informative? Meaning it like street signs or maps, or anything that relays information to the audience, the specific hmm. audience. Okay, so there's informative, which I just we explained, and then there's persuasive, such as advertising, like Cocoa Puffs, Cocoa Pebbles, which brand is better, even though they are different cereals, one's just the little bubbles and one's pebbles, I thought that was kind of a good idea, I guess. Honestly, just looking at them, Cocoa Puffs stands out a bit more. Not as busy, probably. Not as busy, it gets it across. Plus, you're right on the whole black and white, red and white. I mean, look at that. Cocoa Puffs, it stands out more. Whereas the Cocoa Pebbles. The yellow. The yellow doesn't mesh well with the brown. Okay, it gets lost. Mm -hmm. um, but it's things like this that you see on the shelves every day in Well, whenever you're at the grocery store or any other place, it's uh, competition all the time. Huh, I loved it. Mountain Lion and Dr. Perky. Um, these are off brands and these are the actual high end brands. They're probably the same ish. I mean, you can definitely tell which one is have a, has a stronger flavor, but it's kind of the same. I mean, which one are you going to buy? The Mountain Lion or the Mountain Dew? Just because of all the, the logo and the design. Honestly, I'm going to buy the one that's cheaper. But <laughs> <laughs> right. And that's also, you know, a lot of people do, okay, well, we're going to get Mountain Lion because it is the cheaper brand. But that's why they want this to pop. And they spend so much money on designing and redesigning the label. Um, things like that. Oh, like getting the DP in, engraved or to pop out of the actual bottle when you hold it. Mm -hmm. It presses against the bottom of your hand. Yeah, that's another thing how it's got that on there and these have fancy little ridges whereas these are just generic bottles so yeah that's also another thing that you gotta graphic designers gotta remember you know oh we could do something different by doing this but um and then the other thing is branding such as logos some logos have the actual words in it like sonic and others don't even have to have it anymore like this is and it's obviously it's an xbox more specifically that one looks like an xbox 360 okay gamer two points for you and this one's just playstation and then of course mcdonald's and the nike swish mm -hmm. so do you know which playstation that is four that one right there because i googled it <laughs> well there you go yep um, so yeah, I mean, it depends on color and all that, but we're going to get into that in the next one. It can also be art. Graphic design, you can be an artist using the computer and graphic design um, very easily. As you can see, there's some different things. Like the trippy matrix type thing? Yep. It's like some weird cityscape poem. Mm-hmm. It's That's very deep. It's deep and artistic, but it's graphic design, I mean. Like I said, to graphic design, the term is very, um, broad. very broad. Thank you. 
Okay. So now we're going to talk about type, space, image, and color, like the difference. I mean, you can kind of tell what they are. Um, types such as topography, such as this light bulb over here. You know, the first thing that you see is idea. Not just because it's red, but because it's bigger. Kind of like this sign up here. Your eyes here, then here. Isn't that fascinating? Because your eyes are drawn here, obviously, as it says. Um, I really like this little thing. Topography makes me vomit. Which, it doesn't make me vomit, but I thought that was a really funny, funny picture. Um, and also color, like I said here, color makes it stand out and pop. And also over here, it doesn't necessarily make it stand out and pop. It just emphasizes fascinating. It's like, isn't that fascinating? Also, image could be um, like the shape of the bulb. Like, they could not have the uh, picture, but they could just use words such as the butterfly up here. Like, you can't even see a real butterfly. It's just the silhouette of a butterfly with the words being inside of it. But, so, basically, and we're back to that. That's all I have um, for this lesson. Hmm. So basically that's that's the scraping the very surface of what graphic design really is and you can go into it t-shirt designs clothing could be brands could be anything you see graphic design everywhere advertisements on the side of the bus advertisements art um, magazines that's huge Have when you're looking at magazines and catalogs is this graphic design yes Video wow. games, is very <laughs> video games. I didn't even put that on here, but that is very graphic design because it's graphics designing. You know, you get it. So I hope you like this little lesson. Hopefully, it's not too confusing for you. I will be posting some more lessons, getting into different topics, such as the um, you know type topography. Logos is going to be a huge one. I think I'm going to have multiple videos for logos because. Even just the colors themselves symbolize lots of things, and I'll go into that, such as red, but I'll get into that at another time. Um, if you have any questions, please leave questions and comments below in the comments section. Let me know if you like this video. If not, I will quit doing them and just burn my computer. Not Don't really. burn your computer? Hey, she's put in a lot of good effort. I have. And she's really good at what she does. I tried. She went to school for it. I did. And hey, you know? If you thought this is entertaining, interesting, informative, or any combination of the three, please send her a subscription. Seriously. Like, we want to hear from you guys. We want to see you guys come back. Very much. We want to hear from you. Let us know what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong, things like that. Um, I really love graphic design. I could talk about it for hours. That's why I thought, you know, blogging on this would be awesome. Or, you know, actually getting PDFs prepped and ready to go too. Um, but yeah, just let me know if you have anything you want me to let me know if this was very useful to you. Good. I hope you leave this video today with some extra knowledge in that brain of yours. So. Quick question on graphic design. Yes, question on graphic design. If you were to take that little bit of advertising for you I just did and film it, would it be considered graphic design? What's that? Just what I did for you, right there. The audio? Mm hmm But if you were to Oh, like say, radio? Mm hmm Radio advertising, um... Doesn't count as graphic design. Does it? it doesn't necessarily count as graphic design because there are no graphics involved. Um, well, how about for it's still, YouTube? It's still advertising. How about for YouTube? Videos? Things like that? That's graphics. That's graphics? Graphic design usually includes graphics. But... Billboards... So, not generally video and things like that. Audio? No, video. Video does. You can add a bunch of things to video, such as logos. Um, you see Not That Guy and Army Loves Life Me. You see our logos on the videos. That is advertising. Commercials. TV commercials. That can be considered graphic design. Um, so all the little nuances and extra finishing touches that are done to the videos? Um, I personally would consider it, especially when it comes to editing it, even though you might have an entire video that's nothing but video, there's no graphics or anything in it, but taking the time to sit there and edit it, uh, I guess I might consider that part of gra the graphic design career. Um, so, a video could have absolutely nothing to do with graphics, 
until the very end. Even, not even in the end. Not even in the end. I mean, just you, the editing part of it. I think I would say so, just the editing part. Just because it's a broad sense of the word? Mm hmm I don't know. In my opinion. This is all my opinion, that, and you will learn that a lot of this stuff, some people might critique me and say, no. that, that is completely wrong, you just need to, you know, they might bash on me, but a lot of this is my personal opinion from what I've learned and experienced. So, any other questions? No, not that I Alright, so like I said, if you like this video, like the button, subscribe to me, and not that guy, he's pretty funny, he's got some good videos. Um, no, he does. So I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully it'll be great. Bye-bye now.